this is the EasyViz eLife BC1C wireless battery power security camera. A few months back, I reviewed the EasyViz BC1 Duo Pack, which I have installed on my detached garage round back. Link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Essentially, I wanted an additional one so that I can set up a security camera for the front of my house to give me a complete vantage point of my entire front driveway. This is where this comes in. Now, this can be charged as a single security camera, which gives you that full 210 days worth of battery life. But this also complements with a solar panel. So if you wanted to have continuous charging and power to the camera, then you can set this up with the solar panel on the front of the house as well. But I find it more convenient to have a solar panel to give continuous charging to the camera itself so that I don't need to worry about taking it off, charging it, and then putting it back on every single time or every around 200 days. So let's go ahead and first unbox this. Now there's a lot of key features that I wanted to highlight just before I go into this. It's listed on each side of the box, but just for convenience, here's a screenshot listing all of the main features of the security camera. Now it is full HD, so you do get 1080p video. You can see it has a huge battery life in there, 7,800 milliamp hours. It's got an inbuilt storage of 32 gigabytes. You can also store the video recordings on the cloud package that you can purchase separately. So there's multiple different ways you can store the video and play that back. It also has color night vision and I will be showing some sample clips that I've taken both at daytime and at nighttime just to show you the quality. Now this is made to be set outdoors. So it is IP66 dust and water protected. It gives you very accurate human detection, which I like, you know, if you do have maybe animals like some dogs or some cats that run around, it won't pick them up. But if a human does come in, in place of the camera, then it will give you an alert on the phone. Then it also has two way talk as well, just in case, you know, you get someone to drop off a delivery and maybe you're not at home, then you can get notified via the app and then you can talk through it and let them know to place the package anywhere they like. There's also an alarm system in there for a bit of added security. It does support 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and I do recommend setting this up as close as possible to your wireless router, just to make sure you always have continuous signal to the camera so that it doesn't cut off the recording at any time. And of course, to save space, it does have the H.265 codec in there for video compression. Then you can also do voice alerts and it works with the solar panel for complete battery charging continuously. So now let's go ahead and open this. So there you have two things in the box. You've got the camera and the solar panel. So pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna unpack the camera. So you can see, you know, pretty much easily it fits into the palm of my hand. That is a very nice sized camera. And actually I do like the color of this. It's got this nice black and space gray type design. Very clean, it's got some lights on there as well. So at nighttime to give you the best color night vision, the floodlight on this will actually come on. And just on the back, you have your micro USB charging port. And in the accessory box is where you will have the charging cable, the nails and the plugs, the bracket. You also have a USB plug for the charging cable. And then also, if you wanted to set this up via magnets, then you can do that instead of using the one with the screw on it, because this is a very strong magnet as well, like so. And then you can just really position it elsewhere. If you are going to set this outdoors, I wouldn't recommend using the magnet because anyone can just literally just steal it, just pull it off and take it. So definitely screw it in just for that added security. So like with my other BC1 Duo pack, I will be drilling the holes into the wall and I'll be using these plugs for that. And inside this box, you have yourself the user manual if you want to read up more information about how to set this up. This is also complemented with an EasyViz app as well, so make sure to download that so you can set this up with the camera and it's very easy to do so. It's probably one of the easiest and most user-friendly apps that I've used for any security camera that I have around my house and I have plenty of them. This is a very large solar panel, so you can be pretty sure you'll always get maximum power, maximum battery life at all times. And again, this is the bracket and I will be drilling holes in the wall using the screws and the plugs. Comes with a little user manual as well just to get you up and running. Okay, so this is everything that I need. You know, it's very basic, just the camera, the solar panel, the brackets, the screws and the plugs. Like I mentioned, this is all complemented with the EasyViz app that you can see the live video, you can play back the recordings, you can set where you want to store them, you can download them, share them, you can do two-way talk, you can do 
motion detection, push notifications and alerts, that kind of stuff. So there's plenty of different things and I will be showcasing a little bit about the app once I show you some sample clips. So I'm looking to place this camera above one of the front windows next to an existing camera that faces downwards towards the front door. The solar panel will place just to the front of the house next to one of the lights to catch maximum amount of sunlight, much like I already have on the other side, which is a solar panel to a very bright motion sensor floodlight that I also installed a while back. But the BC1 camera will face directly forward so I can get a good vantage point for the entire front driveway, which will allow me to see anyone coming from both sides of my gates. So let me go ahead and now set this up. Okay, you saw how quick and easy that was to set up. It was minimal effort, and that's actually one of the reasons why I like the Easy Viz security cameras. Now, I just wanted to quickly run through the app before I show you some sample clips. Setting it up was very easy. You literally just select the camera, scan the QR code that's at the back of the device, and then you make sure the blue light is flashing, then you go through the next steps. Then it starts configuring the device on the network. Takes about maybe 25 seconds and that's it, you're connected. So then you can just add you know, some naming conventions, put the settings in place for the camera, and once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go and install it. Okay, so if I scroll down, you'll see this is the live view of the security camera. It's super clear, and the camera itself is actually not too far away from my wireless router, which is in this room, and the door is just on the other side of this room as well. So it has very good coverage. If your camera is set up quite far away from your wireless router and the signal is quite poor, then you can actually change the resolution to make sure that you still get consistently smooth video and recording on the application. But mine is you know, very super fast broadband as well and I have it very close, so I've set it to full HD to get the maximum resolution. Now you can see here, you, know, you can view the video history, you take snapshots and pictures, you can record. Speak, which is a two-way talk option, active defense is to set the alarm, and then change the definition of the video. If I hit definition, this is what I was mentioning. I have it set to full HD, but you can set it to high def and standard video quality as well. In this video, I'm only gonna be showing the full HD clips as samples just to give you an idea of what the maximum quality would look like, both in day and night conditions. On the top right-hand side, you've got the settings button. This is where you can you know, make sure you set up everything that you would like on how you're going to use the camera. Working mode, you know, this is probably one of the most important ones if you want the video to be consistently recording and to have like loop recording so that you don't miss any part of the entire day's worth of footage, then that's what you can set that for. Ideally, you should have that plugged into the solar panel so that it consistently has power as well. So performance mode, you know, it sets one video clip that's longer, but it saves a little bit of power. Then you can choose some of the power saving options as well in case you wanted to have the camera set in battery only. So if you charge it with the micro USB and you don't want the solar panel, then these are some of the options that I would recommend. Intelligent detection, you know, this is where you can set the distances for motion detection as well and set the notification settings for that. Audio, you can set that to either on or off depending on if you are going to be using two-way talk. Image, you know, this is the type of quality that you want when you take pictures. So I've just said it's original, which I think would be fine. Color night vision, obviously I've selected that as well. And then right at the bottom, if you wanted to have, you know, the OSD on top of your pictures, which is the on-screen display, you can set the information about the date and the timestamps and that kind of stuff when you export the picture. Light, you know, if you have that red camera status light to show that it's recording, if you want to turn that off, which I have, 
then you can just hide from anyone else to showcase is it on or is it off as a bit of a more of a security measure, but that's totally up to you. And then this is where you can see the battery levels. It's currently at 72% for me, but it is charging by solar panel. So the app itself is very quick and easy. You know, if I go into live view, I can see everything clearly. And you know, as you can see the cars driving by, there's not that much buffering. You know, I still maintain a good strong signal. So I will keep this in that position. I get a good field of view of most of my driveway, which is exactly what I want. Now let's take a look at some sample video clips that I've taken both day and night. So there's a main road just behind me there. And once you see the cars going by, you can hear it's quite busy. You can hear a lot of the noise. But more than that, you can still hear me quite clearly, which I think is great. It's a bright sunny day today. So even though this is 1080p, I think the video quality is so clear you can still see the sharpness, the details, the colours, and no matter what distance from the gate up until the camera the person is in, you'd still be able to make them out. So that's one of the key features of having a security camera. So I'm very impressed. And you can see the wide angle view. I think that's really important if you have a large driveway like this. So this is at sunset, and even now, you guys can see it's very clear. The lights have not come on yet on the camera, and you can still make out everything in the video. So you can see the cars in the background with the headlights, super clear. And this is how the audio is when I'm about 3 meters away from the camera. So it might not be the clearest of audio, but you can still make it out from this distance. And even if I step back a little bit, how clear is that? Alright guys, so it is now very dark, the sun has set. Just wanted to show you how dark it is, but now let me walk in front of you. And you can actually see the front lights are on, on the camera, and it's still pretty clear. So this is the colour night vision. The reason it says colour night vision is because the lights come onto the camera, it then actually makes it easier to see you in colour but the clarity I'm checking on my phone at the same time is pretty good as well even though it's very dark behind me the light highlights the subject so the person in the shot in the frame will be very easily visible on the camera and the video recording even though everything else behind you might be very dark so overall I'm pretty impressed Right, so that's it guys. It's pretty straightforward. You know, I'm so happy with this camera. I really recommend you check out EasyViz and their website. They have a whole host of different types of security cameras, both indoors and outdoors. I'm pretty sure you'll find the right one for your tailored needs. This one specifically comes in just less than 100 pounds. I have the link in the description. Do check it out. Sometimes they may run some offers and run some discounts and vouchers, so you can save a bit of money on that. But for that price and what you get and the quality that you get, as especially for a peace of mind if you wanted to secure your home, I recommend this is the one to get. Any other questions you guys have specifically about this camera, then drop a comment down below. If you did find this useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I have new videos out every week and I cover all things tech and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.